in itself but basically it stores a ton of um, it can store a ton of um, variables in it so and then you can can create arrays and each array is going to have each of those variables so if you want to know a bit more about it I'm probably not the best at explaining that but if you want to know a bit more about it then uh, check out um, just google it dot net is quite a good place to go for it that's where I learned mine ages ago um, so what each menu item is going to have is a thing saying is is this menu item on right and if it is on we pl we place the uh, back color of that menu item as green if it's off we play so if this equals false we place it as red and then here the string name is what we're going to put for example my wall hack um, whatever so you can write anything you want S and then we're going to put a little um, a little way of displaying it so um, and then we're going to go directory menu hack and now we're going to create an array uh, hack and then we put max menu items there okay is that okay so directory expected a what are you talking about there 3d menu hack hack um, hmm what is it missing here max menu items expected a oh yeah my bad forgot to put this in so make sure you got that in does that fix it nope that does not fix it oh the struct needs one as well my bad fail I uh, don't worry about that uh, don't worry about any errors for, for now guys because I'm sure we're writing this fine um, my 27 inch will not fail you I know that much um, so yeah so this is our class our header file completed for our hacks so this is pretty much most of what you need for a normal hack so you've got your draw text so you can draw anything to your, to your screen you can draw well draw menu let's ignore that you can draw rectangle which we're going to use for drawing our menu we can draw a a border box so just a normal ESP box you can get any input from your keyboard and these are the core things that we'll need for our hack pretty much and the stride here I forgot to mention this to you guys we won't be using this on our on our first uh, menu tutorial a stride is something to do with our cams and I'll explain that when we get to our cams tutorial which um, will be very simple um, and I'm sure you understand that so what we're now going to do is going to go onto our hacks.c++ file so let me just get my solution here and so hacks.c++ yep that's good um, so just went to get a quick drink um, now what we're going to start uh, writing is our hacks.c++ as I said um, let me just check my notes quickly make sure I haven't missed anything out uh, so we've imported everything we've created our hacks.c++ and .h uh, includes and defines uh, <coughs> yeah something I forgot to mention quickly um, here is we could leave a little bit of space here because um, this is where we're going to put our um, our definitions for our cams. So just definition definitions for our cams, and this um, you you'll understand once we do the wall hacking tutorial. You'll see that it's incredibly similar. The only difficult thing will be grabbing the actual uh, address where um, not the address the uh, the actual textures that display the. Um, the parts of the body of the player we want. So some games will be incredibly simple, other games will be a bit more difficult, but I guarantee you it's a very simple explanation. So what we're gonna do now is in our um you'll still have your errors on your hex on your direct three D nine dev dot C plus plus but don't worry about those. We're gonna fix them now. So um what we're gonna do now um yeah uh, so we're gonna start writing this one. So um first thing we're gonna do is gonna add to includes and first thing we've got to say because this is part of the class look at that bad boy there there you go so include hacks.c++ um, and we're going to include hash include so um, ss stream now uh, this is used I don't remember I'm just going to have a quick look see if I did use this in the end this was used um, quick check on something uh, sorry about this guys I should have done a bit more thorough research yeah sorry SS stream is necessary before it was necessary because I had to do some conversion now I found a better way around that so don't worry about that um, and then we're gonna go int menu index sorry do a capital because this is a global menu index and uh, menu index is uh, basically what we're gonna use for our um, to say um, is uh, 
menu uh, element one selected so that way we know to put the white border around that specific menu item so we know which one is highlighted at the moment and then we'll go direct 3d color and we're going to define a couple of our colors and these will be um, these are nice to define that way we know uh, we can just say we want to display red we want to display blue we want to display whatever so we're going to go font red so we know it's a type of font equals direct 3d color ARGB which GB which stands for alpha red green and blue and if you don't know ARGB is a very simple thing so 255 in RGB is the highest value and 0 is the lowest so if you put 255 as alpha then that means that you want the color to be uh, full brightness if you put 100 half of that for example it will be almost transparent so then we're going to go 255 on R which R is red so we're saying we want red to be at full color then we want 0 at green and we want 0 at blue now the reason for that is because if we put those at any value then the red will be mixed with any of those colors and it won't be a full red and then we're going to do a couple more colors now so I hope that was a simple explanation for you and you got a little bit of a picture if you didn't know I'm sure most of you guys know this green oops green and now for green as you probably guessed it you do um, let's just copy this um, you do 255 which is uh, full brightness and then you do so if you reduce those you'll have transparent you'll be able to see through the hack and we'll be using some of that throughout and 255 on green and 0 on blue and now as you can probably guess blue will be very similar to this Oops. Uh, font blue uh, fuck. Uh, fuck. yeah font blue seems fair to me and then go full brightness and then we go 0 and 255 there um, so we want full blue um... do I ever use this? There's a couple more fonts I did, I don't know if I do use them I don't, sorry about that noise, uh, font white, do I use that? I do use font white, uh, transparent white I do not use transparent white either, sorry so all we're going to do now is declare um, white and black so you can declare in these colors so feel free to go on your if you got paint on it you can simply go on it and find some values and if you find a really cool color just store that on here like if you want to make some values mix it up on there and then you find what's good and what's not so direct 3d color font white I think is it white we're gonna go for yeah white and white will be everything on max so 255 255 255 um, so we're saying full tra uh, full um, color and everything and as you can probably guess black will be the exact opposite font black black um, so that will be 255 0 0 and 0 okay and that's it that's our colors done and now we're gonna start creating our functions so the functions we declared on our hacks.h so void hacks open those two bad boys and now we've got a list of things so we're gonna go for create font create font and it comes up with create font A because um, it's the way that um, hang on what's going on with that A why doesn't it let me ah oh, never mind so just go here you can go to our hacks.h and just go like that don't copy that one we can just copy that and then go like that and just go um, can I do that good that should be alright what's wrong with that that's good, 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 good. Um, and we can pretty much just copy out all ours like that. So uh, let's copy all of them this way because we're lazy like that, and all that good stuff. So void hacks and let's try open and close, uh, and then we'll write all our content within each. Other. Oops, just pasted that instead of copying. Um, hacks open and close, and. Then this one, make sure you don't have the semicolon when you, um, I don't know if I actually let you paste it with a semicolon, but if you do, make sure yours don't have it, because then your function won't run. Um, do that one, which is draw field rectangle. Then we've got draw border box, which is our uh, outside rectangle, which is going to be very sexy. Um, and then we're going to do our keyboard input, which we're going to check what the user presses. And then we also have access to all those various variables we declared there, which is great stuff. 
So what we're going to start off by creating is our create font um, function, and because we get a device, so we're going to go all capitals, direct 3D, C. Now back to small ones, font. Open that. Now if that doesn't come up, it's probably because you freaked it up. So the D3DX, oops my bad, D3DX, I always type these wrong, so, so complicated. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Yeah, there you go. So now, first thing we've got is our device, so we're going to go Direct3D, device, which is the thing we've got right here, device. Um, and then we're going to send 20 for our height, so this is where we define the size of our font. Um, FW, now I chose 20 for mine. Um, you guys can be different, but I recommend you follow me for now and then make any changes later on. W bold. Um, then zero for our mid mid levels. I don't actually know what that is. Some of the stuff I don't know what it is, but don't worry about it. False for italic because we don't want italic. And then default char send. As you probably know, it's the functions in uh, Direct 3D. Are so uh, they're really um, like um, they're really big in. Um, so the, the really difficult stuff. So uh, default precision, precise. Okay, and then we're gonna default quality, and then uh, is that right? And then default pitch, default pitch, and we're gonna do a little bar here. You know the bar we use for the all, which is right next to your shift. So if you press shift and the key right next to it, then you should get it. Then FF, don't care. <laughs> and then we're going to go for choice font and that's the font we sent in choice font um, dot c uh, underscore str open brackets because it's a function oops that's not it uh, and then we're going to say and we're going to pass this uh, by reference m font no it's not m font it's i think we declared it as font didn't we and this is the font we declared at hacks here. So where is it? Font. There it is. So that's the font we declared there. And we're saying what we're saying here is we're saying create a new font, right? Saying create a new font, but and and store that font here so we can later access it around here. So at first we define that font and then we um and then we store it on that. And hopefully this one should be missing now. Hacks. We haven't created a hacks object, and we'll create that in a second. And then, as soon as we do that, all these should work nicely. So um, that's good. Actually, we'll create it right now because that way we'll get rid of a ton of errors. Hacks, hacks, do that. All right, what's wrong with that? Include. Right, I'm just going to check my C plus plus. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so we need to include hacks here. So include. My bad hacks dot h uh, close that now we're saying hacks hacks as you can see uh, create font hey what's wrong with that it's inaccessible oh okay uh, do, we, do we need to make it public oops we need to make it public is that what I forgot to do hacks dot h uh, def 3d and dot h um, hacks dot c plus plus that's weird because I never made this um, why do I need to make it public I didn't make that on my example. Um, it's gonna go here quickly. Create. So I'm create font. If I when I do call it, sorry guys, just try and fix this quick problem. Create font, and we send the dev device in there. And this is the direct 3D device, if you're wondering. So hex dot. Yeah, it does know what it is. I mean, what's wrong with that? You just giving me some stupid error or what? M stride. Oh, my bad. Here should just be stride. I think is that right? Yes, it is. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Willis? So stride. Yes, it is. I declared M. Didn't I? M stride. Yeah, I was a small M. Create font. It cannot access private member in class. So I guess we need to declare it public. I don't know why it didn't um, stop me from doing it when I created on my example. But don't worry about it. So just go public. 
void and everything. So public 